jump from animals to humans. They can spread through contact with an infected animal or its surroundings, or through contact with a vector. A vector-borne illness, like malaria, occurs when an insect, in this case a mosquito, ma -ski -to, mosquito, bites a human and injects its saliva into the bloodstream. Ew. Once a human contracts an illness from being in direct or indirect contact with an infected animal, then it begins a chain of transmission for the pathogen. Rising temperatures, deforestation, and species displacement are just a few of the factors that contribute to the disease outbreaks that we are hearing more and more about. Experts say we'll likely be seeing a lot more of them in our lifetime, but this phenomenon is nothing new. To limit exposure to zoonotic pathogens, we can keep up with immunizations, wear insect repellent, and resist the urge to pet furry friends when hiking.